here giving me this uh, opportunity to uh, present uh, our uh, research results on uh, summer hall effect of uh, magnons. So, uh, yeah, because of this, uh, uh, say, overall title of the conference, I chose this uh, uh, title for my uh, talk. But uh, uh, for, for this audience, I also prepare for another uh, topic, which is the Edelstein's effect for electrons and uh, phonons, which is uh, somewhat uh, uh, recent activities in our group. So. Uh, in the uh, first half, I will uh, talk on the, this uh, subject, and uh, another half, I will talk on uh, Edelstein's uh, effect as well. So uh, this work is in collaboration with uh, these people, especially Shindo, uh, Professor Shindo, who gave a talk uh, last week, and also Matsumoto, uh, who, who, who was a, a PhD student in my group, and also uh, I collaborate with uh, these people. <coughs> So uh, let me uh, begin with uh, uh, first talk, uh, half of my talk, and uh, uh, maybe some of you may have uh, heard uh, these uh, uh, things uh, some previously. So, but uh, uh, for some of you who may have not heard of it, so uh, I, I would uh, like to give some introduction and then uh, give some uh, theories of the uh, summer hole effect for uh, magnons, and then uh, talk about uh, some experiments. So summer hole effect is an effect where uh, the, the temperature gradient uh, to a uh, magnet uh, gives rise to the uh, transfers, uh, heat current, uh, like that. So yeah, of course, uh, there's a longitudinal component, but, but uh, I don't uh, write it here. Uh, but uh <coughs> and, uh, uh, this kind of a uh, uh, transverse uh, uh, motion uh, of a heat, uh, transverse uh, heat current is uh, driven by magnons, and uh, such kind of a uh, uh, motion I is uh, uh, possible uh, in a clean system uh, only when there's uh, some, uh, say, a mechanism uh, or some uh, circular uh, framework uh, called a Bayes curvature, and uh, I'd like to give some uh, uh, explanations for that. So uh, let me begin with a uh, uh, spin hole effect, which has been discussed e by e previous uh, speakers. So uh, uh, we e say uh, formulated the uh, spin hole effect in terms of the e e very curvature uh, some time ago, and uh, uh, this is a schematic picture of the spin hole effect. And uh, uh, e uh, so in terms of the uh, semi-classical uh, theory e for the motion of an uh, electron, uh, oh <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah, it is like that. So uh, the the first uh, first term uh, in this uh, 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 within this uh, frame is a uh, uh, Boltzmann transport terms. Uh, but uh, in, in addition to these uh, textbook terms, uh, we have uh, a very coverage term, uh, which is like uh, this. So uh, this means that the velocity x dot uh, acquires a term, uh, which is k dot cross uh, omega. And the omega is a Bayes curvature, which is uh, written like that. So this u is a uh, uh, block wave, uh, the period part of the block wave function. And uh <coughs> the important point here is that uh, this uh, Bayes curvature is non-zero uh, when there are uh, more than uh, uh, more than one uh, bands. So in other words, this is a multi-band effect. So if we have uh, more than one bands, uh, we we should uh, uh, usually care about uh, this term. <coughs> So, uh, so, this, so uh, for for the uh, spin hole effect e electrons, we can uh, study e in terms of this uh, uh, equation motion, uh, either with a, a model calculation or with a first principle calculation, and uh, uh, how uh, we can have uh, how, how much e, e velocity e, e due to this uh, Bayes curvature uh, uh, arises, and uh, this. Uh, kind of a very uh, velocity uh, gives rise to the uh, transfer uh, motion of uh, electrons. So uh, in, in this case, for example, uh, in this case of, uh, say, non-magnetic uh, semiconductors or metals, uh, this uh, very curvature term is, uh, has uh, opposite uh, signs for up spins and down spins. So, and, uh, and so in this case, uh, this k dot is uh, proportional to electric field E. So in this figure, uh, this k dot is uh, in this direction, and uh, omega, uh, for 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 example, for two-dimensional system, 
as a uh, perpendicular, as only the perpendicular component. So in that, same, in that case, uh, this velocity has a, uh, has a component only in the, in the horizontal direction in this figure. So uh, because up and down spins have uh, uh, different, uh, sp different uh, signs for the very curvature, so it gives us this, this kind of motion, and uh, it leads to the uh, spin current in the transverse way. So this is uh, somewhat uh, well studied uh, subject. And uh, let me uh, go on to the uh, Magnon case. So uh, extension of a Magnon is, uh, in fact, uh, uh, very straightforward. So in this, in this kind of a theory, in this kind of a theory, uh, the wave nature of uh, uh, these uh, particles are, the, are essential. So in that sense, uh, electrons are, and magnons are all, all also uh, waves. So in this, uh, uh, in this viewpoint, uh, they are uh, very much the same. So we can formulate in a similar way uh, like that. And uh, this, uh, in the magnon case, this is uh, uh, also the, uh, some additional term uh, coming from the very curvature. <coughs> Ah, okay, so yeah, in fact, it is a good uh, point. So in this case, uh, this V we put by hand because uh, physically it is n not so uh, straightforward to consider about uh, uh, such kind of a potential term uh, by some kind of exper experimental setup. But uh, in this case, uh, as I tell you later, uh, this is uh, put by hand uh, as a kind of a uh, for some theoretical uh, setup, but uh, not, we are not considering any kind of a special uh, setup for experimental uh, uh, things. Uh, any other questions up to? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it, it is exactly what what I'm talking about uh, later. Yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, uh, for this uh, very curvature uh, for magnons to be non-zero, uh, we have a, oops. maybe <laughs> we, we should uh, just touch. Maybe, <laughs> I, I won't touch this. <laughs> maybe but it's a, yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe I will stay away. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, for yeah, because this this is a uh, this very curvature term is due, due to the uh, magnon uh, band structure, and uh, and so uh, the, this uh, whether or not uh, this is non-zero or not, or it, it, whether it is uh, large or small, uh, crucially depends on the uh, uh, spin uh, interaction interaction between spins. And uh, uh, oh, sorry, it is <laughs> oh sorry, it is. Uh, Incorrect. So we, we should write it here as a uh, jabsensi Morian interaction. Uh, is one of the interactions which gives us to the uh, very curvature to be non-zero. Another one uh, is a dipolar interaction, uh, which is uh, crucial, for example, in the case of a uh, YIG uh, same film. <coughs> so and, uh, uh, by, by formulating uh, the, uh, uh, the summer uh, Hall ef effect, uh, whole, whole conductivity, uh, which is the uh, uh, ratio between the uh, uh, temperature gradient uh, versus the transverse heat current by magnons, uh, uh, kappa xy. Uh, then the, this, uh, we obtain this uh, formula, kappa xy, in terms of the very curvature uh, uh, by this form. So uh, uh, <coughs> uh, in here, the, uh, this uh, C2 uh, uh, function is uh, uh, some uh, complicated function of the both distribution function uh, row. So in that sense, uh, this kappa xy is a sum over all the uh, magnon uh, eigenmodes, uh, over uh, all, all the magnon eigenmodes, and each eigenmode uh, uh, contributes uh, to the uh, sum of conductivity as a very curvature times uh, some uh, complicated function of the uh, both distribution function. And uh, uh, let me uh, just... Uh, uh, explain how we obtained uh, this formula in the following uh, slides. So uh, before uh, going to that, uh, let me uh, give you some uh, 
uh, a kind of a historical uh, background. Uh, in fact, we are not the uh, uh, first to uh, uh, consider this uh, summer uh, whole effect of uh, magnons, uh, but uh, uh, there are some uh, 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 pioneering papers uh, like uh, Katsura et al. and Onose et al. Uh, paper. So in the latter paper uh, here, uh, they consider the, uh, this kind of a pyrocular uh, a ferromagnet uh, with a jarosinus moria interaction. So in that case, uh, the jarosinus moria interaction is a key uh, to give rise to the uh, non-zero uh, very curvature. And uh, in their analysis, uh, uh, they used uh, their formula, uh, which is like that. But uh, in fact, uh, later we found uh, that uh, there's some, some correction terms uh, to be added uh, to this uh, formula. So in, uh, at, yeah, presently, it, our formula, uh, which is uh, like that, uh, is, is a uh, correct formula, uh, which is used uh, uh, broadly. So, but uh, uh, say in their uh, uh, experimental result, which is shown here, uh, uh, this red one is, uh, uh, shows the previous uh, formula, and th this uh, blue one, uh, green one, is a, a correct fo formula. So, in that sense, uh, within the experimental kind of uh, error, it, it both uh, seem to fit well, but uh, in fact, this green one is a uh, correct one. <coughs> but anyway, uh, uh, let me e e give you some uh, brief uh, sketch how we obtained uh, this formula. So, uh, we in fact, uh, we e derived this uh, formula uh, by two methods. Uh, one is the semi-class calculation uh, of motion involving the very curvature, as I e e told you uh, previous, uh, previously. And the other one is a, a linear response theory e using a Kubo formula. So let me e give you some sketch about uh, the, these uh, two theories and to see a, a these uh, results uh, give the same uh, formula. <coughs> so let me e begin with a, a semi-classical uh, theory. So a semi-classical theory for Magnon is uh, just like that. And uh, as a some of you have uh, asked, uh, asked me, uh, this uh, uh, potential uh, term U is uh, some uh, confining potential which e for, e e exerts a force uh, to the Magnon uh, wave budget. So, uh, so this is a semi classical equation motion e e dis describing the, mo uh, the e time evolution of a, a, a position of the uh, Magnon and also the, e the wave vector of a uh, Magnon. But uh, this h bar k, k dot is uh, nothing but a uh, force uh, onto the e magnum wave packet. So as uh, Yaroslav uh, pointed out, uh, at the edge of the system, there's a hard wall uh, confining potential. Uh, and so this uh, uh, gradient, gradient of u is just uh, pointing uh, inward uh, to the, uh, of the e magnet. And uh, if we consider the two-dimensional magnet, uh, then the very curvature is always a perpendicular uh, to the e, to the plane uh, due by the uh, by definition. So by definition, e, e, the very curvature is like that. So if in, we are in the two-dimensional magnet, we have uh, we have only two components for um, wave vector, so kx and ky. So in that sense, uh, this should uh, be pointing uh, perpendicular to the plane. So. Uh, uh, by summing up uh, all this, uh, this k dot is uh, is uh, perpendicular to the boundary of the magnet, and the uh, omega is uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the magnet. I, I mean, yeah, k dot is uh, uh, within the plane, and the uh, omega is uh, perpendicular to the plane. So, in that in that sense, uh, this uh, overall uh, uh, additional velocity term uh, is uh, along. Uh, the edge of the system. So it, in fact, it describes the, uh, uh, the uh, motion, of, uh, namely the edge current uh, uh, along the edge of the system, uh, like circulating along the, along the edge of the system like that. So, <coughs> so, uh, so this is, this is uh, uh, yeah, for the uniform system, it is uh, correct. And, uh, and uh, uh, say uh, uh, we can evaluate how much uh, magnetic current uh, uh, exists, and also how much energy current carried by a uh, uh, which is uh, like that. So it is uh, uh, expressed in terms of the uh, Bayes curvature. 
So uh, let, let us uh, first, uh, let us uh, next consider the uh, temperature uh, gradient. So uh, because uh, we see uh, that this uh, magnetic current is uh, dependent on the uh, both distribution function, and, and so uh, it is also t uh, temperature dependent. So in that sense, uh, if we add a s uh, temperature uh, gradient to the system, then uh, the local temperature will be e different uh, uh, over the system. So uh, uh, to consider that kind of a situation, we uh, divide the system into uh, plaquettes uh, like that. And uh, in the if uh, the temperature is uniform, uh, then each plaquette has uh, the same saturating magnetic current. So in that sense, uh, the, the neighboring uh, saturating current uh, will cancel. So I this figure is equivalent to this one. But on the other, on the other hand, uh, if that there's a temperature gradient, uh, then the situation is uh, like that. So for the hotter side, uh, the, there are more uh, magnetic current than the colder side, like that. So uh, by looking at the uh, neighboring uh, plaquette, uh, there, there's no cancellation uh, here. So there, there should be some net uh, magnetic current in the, uh, to, from left to right here. So uh, in this way, uh, we, uh, gener uh, we, we, we uh, yeah, it generates the heat current in the, uh, say, in the horizontal direction in this figure. So uh, by summing up uh, this uh, kind of a contribution, uh, we can easily uh, find out how much magnetic current or how much energy current is induced as a result of the temperature gradient. So it is like that. And uh, by, by some calculation, we can easily you find uh, this kind of form. Yes? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Ca cartoon. Uh, so in the sense, so in, in the electron system, you, you, you. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so in the, yeah, uh, for electron case, uh, we, we know that uh, there's an electron uh, cyclone of motion and uh, giving rise to the skipping orbit, uh, which is the, 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 uh, like this one. But uh, in this case, the magnum a wave packet uh, will not have uh, this kind of a cyclotron motion. So in that sense, uh, I don't know how to say uh, rigorously or more physically rigorously uh, ca uh, say uh, justify this uh, picture. So in that sense, uh, that kind of a calculation should be always say reinforced by another kind of a calculation like a linear response theory, for example, maybe. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, o o yeah. This o o is also difficult, I guess. So, the the equation motion should be e e deviated from, from that when it is uh, sharp. So. Uh, so in that sense, uh, yeah, for, for this formula, we can obtain from a linear response theory. So from, from yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 I think so. 
not rigorously established. Uh, yes. Yeah, that I don't know, but uh, may maybe yeah. There's uh, yeah. There's always uh, such kind of a correspondence in in ev ev every known uh, uh, system. So in it's a contest. So we. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we we can use the Laughlin's argument uh, for this case. So so maybe 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 yeah, I guess so. But yeah, yeah, I guess so. But uh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So in that sense, uh, there should be some something more profound uh, hidden here. I guess. Yeah, and uh, for linear response theory, it is uh, uh, as uh, well known uh, also for electron system. For, I in for electron system, that kind of a problem has been known uh, since uh, some time ago uh, in this Astoria's uh, work. Uh, but uh, uh, and, uh, our work uh, is just, uh, uh, say, extend this uh, electron formula into, say, bosons. <coughs> so it is, uh, in, this in that sense, uh, well known f uh, physics uh, problem. So, uh, in, thi in this case, uh, we uh, say calculate the current uh, uh, under some uh, uh, field uh, like a temperature gradient or some kind of a some kind of a potential gradient. So, uh, in this case, the uh, density matrix and the current operator uh, deviates from a uh, equilibrium uh, operator. So, so this is a kind of a systematic uh, uh, say. <laughs> Uh, uh, way, way of uh, writing. So uh, in this case, uh, we we should uh, say a calculate uh, uh, say uh, expectation value of the uh, current uh, by uh, making a, a product uh, between these two and uh, making a trace. So in this case, there are several uh, terms uh, coming about. So uh, uh, first, uh, uh, the equilibrium uh, value of the current is of course zero. And uh, if we, we consider only the density, uh, the deviation of the density matrix of equilibrium, but uh, we, uh, in equilibrium, uh, then we, we obtain the uh, the Kubo formula uh, 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 in in terms of the current current correlation function. So it is uh, well known, and uh, it is of, it is in fact the previous formula uh, obtained in in the previous works like uh, Katsura or Onose, but. Uh, uh <coughs> In fact, uh, there are another uh, term uh, which appears here, uh, with, uh, which is the uh, current operator uh, of equilibrium uh, times the uh, equilibrium uh, density in matrix. So uh, this uh, gives rise to some uh, uh, correction term which I mentioned earlier. So uh, in, in calculating the, uh, say, a summer uh, Hoy effect, we should uh, add up uh, these two to have a correct uh, result. So uh, in this case, uh, in in this uh, term, uh, we use the density matrix uh, uh, at the equilibrium. So uh, this M uh, is uh, expressed uh, as a form of uh, some uh, say some operator, uh, uh, the, the expectation value of uh, some op operator at equilibrium. And this operator, uh, which is here, is uh, in fact uh, has a form of a uh, orbital angular momentum. So in that sense, uh, this M has a has a uh, orbital uh, has a uh, has a form of a uh, expectation value of a orbital angular momentum or some analog of a orbital angular momentum in the case of uh, this uh, summer Hall effect or 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 the Nernst effect, for example. <coughs> so uh, we we can uh, do some uh, complicated calculations and uh, ah. So in fact, this uh, question term M has uh, this form. So, uh, so this uh, sorry, I didn't ah uh, oh I guess I can mention. So uh, we we can, for example, calculate uh, uh, three types of a uh, uh, response function at the same time. So in this case, the whole effect or the Nernst effect or the sum of whole effect can be calculated in a similar way. So uh, in this case, the whole effect has no uh, correction term. So for the whole effect, uh, the current correlation function is okay, but for the Nernst effect and the sum of whole effect, uh, we should have uh, this kind of a uh, correction term to the current current correlation function. 
And uh, for the nth effect, it is like an uh, expectation value of the orbital and the momentum. And uh, some for the somehow effect, it is uh, somewhat uh, complicated, but uh, it is uh, something similar to the orbital and the momentum. So uh, by using uh, this uh, type of uh, calculation, we, can, uh, we end up with uh, this that, uh, formula, which he, I showed earlier, <coughs> uh, which is like that. So uh, uh, the next question is uh, how to make this very curvature to be non-zero for the magnum case. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, should, we should either have the Jarosinch Moria interaction or the dipolar interaction. So the essence is that uh, they are kind of uh, similar to spin orbit coupling. Namely, we, ha we should have uh, some k dependence uh, onto this uh, wave function. And uh, uh, for example, the dipole interaction has uh, this form, uh, which couples S with uh, some uh, coordinate. Uh, which is essential uh, to have a k dependence uh, of, the, of the wave function. <coughs> so, oh, so uh, uh, as is well, uh, well known, uh, there. So, for 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 the for example, for the Yig film uh, with some uh, thickness, uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, say magnum dispersion, and uh, uh, depending on the uh, uh, wave, num uh, wave number. Uh, the dominant interaction is different. For the, uh, 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 for the uh, 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 shorter uh, wavelengths, uh, the uh, uh, exchange interaction is uh, dominant. But uh, for, th for the longer uh, uh, wavelengths, uh, like uh, uh, microns, uh, the dipolar interaction is dom dominant. So uh, we should, uh, anyway, uh, focus on this uh, wave vector uh, range in order to have the uh, non zero wave curvature. And uh, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, the the problem here is that di that the dipolar interaction here is very com uh, com complicated form, and uh, uh, in addition, it has uh, some uh, quasi uh, long range uh, interaction, so that the, the calculation itself uh, is very complicated. So uh, instead of uh, doing that, we proceed uh, in a diff with a different route. Uh, so uh, we proceed with a, a, a formula, a formalism uh, developed by Karin Kos uh, and uh, Slavin. So uh, we use the Lipschitz uh, equation uh, together with a, a Maxwell equation to describe the dynamics of a magnum. And uh, they, uh, these uh, people uh, formulated the magnum uh, eigen uh, equation in this way. So uh, in, in this formula, small m, uh, ah, sorry, I, I should uh, mention that. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, we say we suppose uh, the external field uh, yeah, primarily we, we say we perpendicular to the plane. And uh, there's, uh, there's also an e equilibrium uh, magnetization uh, out of plane. But uh, uh, as an excitation, uh, this m uh, is uh, some uh, off uh, equilibrium, uh, uh, say, excitation, uh, which is uh, within the xy plane. And uh, this m should obey this kind of uh, uh, eigenvalue equation. And uh, by solving this kind of uh, eigenvalue equation, we obtain the eigenfrequency for, for magnons. Uh, important point uh, here uh, to note is that uh, we have uh, uh, sigma z here. Sigma z is a uh, power matrix. So, uh, for example, for usual uh, Schrodinger equation, we don't have uh, this term, sigma, sigma z term, but uh, in this case, we have a uh, sigma z term. And uh, uh, this sigma z term uh, uh, changes the formula for the Bay curvature uh, like that. <coughs> uh, so, uh, uh, the, the emergence of this uh, sigma z term is uh, uh, physically e e obvious. Uh, in a sense that uh, thi in this uh, uh, magnum case, uh, this is a precession motion, so that the mx and my have uh, this type of uh, cosine and sine e dependence. Uh, uh <coughs> so in, in, that, uh, uh, in this uh, viewpoint, uh, this small m, so this small m is uh, the a vector, which is mx plus minus imy, uh, like that. So uh, this uh, mx plus minus imy has a uh, uh, opposite uh, frequency uh, time dependence 
uh, opposite uh, sign of a frequency like that. So uh, in order to uh, deal with uh, this kind of a dependence, we, we need, uh, phys we ph physically we need uh, this kind of a sigma, sigma z term in this kind of a, uh, say, situation where mx and my are conjugate to each other. <coughs> so anyway, we, we end up with uh, this uh, formula. And uh, for this, by using that formula, we, we can calculate the very curvature uh, for the magnetostatic modes, uh, where we first uh, 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 include only the dipolar interaction. So only with the dipolar interaction, the, 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 the uh, uh, analytic so solution is known uh, in the uh, classical work by uh, Damon et al., uh, which is uh, like that. So from that, this formula, we can easily calculate the very curvature. And uh, uh, the very coverage is uh, like that. So very coverage is, uh, th this is the band structure and the very coverage is uh, like this. So the very coverage is uh, uh, non-zero only uh, for the perpendicular uh, external magnetic field. But uh, if the uh, uh, magnetic field is in plane, uh, the very coverage is zero uh, by symmetry, in fact. But uh, uh, in fact, uh, if we calculate the summer hole conductivity uh, out of this uh, very curvature, uh, this uh, summer hole conductivity is uh, very small. Maybe not, uh, not uh, maybe it, it cannot be measured uh, experimentally, <coughs> unfortunately. Uh, so this, uh, is, uh, this depends on some uh, parameters, uh, like uh, exchange length of a uh, yeah, of a uh, uh, So uh, for maybe by using some other magnets, it maybe it might be, uh, say, measured. But uh, maybe uh, we, we should try uh, another uh, direction uh, to enhance the very curvature. So, uh, for example, we are now uh, calculating uh, the, uh, the very curvature uh, for magnets by including the exchange coupling. So uh, only for dipolar coupling, uh, it, the, the, the uh, dispersion is like that, with a uh, uh, degeneracy at j equal to zero. But uh, if we include the exchange coupling, uh, then the, the dispersion is somewhat changed. So, uh, so in the latter uh, part, we have the logarithm uh, scale. So they seem to be very different. But uh, in fact, uh, they are not so different, of course. But uh, there's some uh, degeneracy lifted at j equal to zero. And uh, 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 including the exchange coupling means uh, we are considering the thinner uh, film. <coughs> so uh, in this case, uh, the very curvature has uh, some uh, different uh, dependence. And uh, in general, uh, it is uh, enhanced uh, near j equal to zero. <coughs> uh, so sorry, the scale is somewhat different. This is a logarithm scale. So it's it looks uh, quite different, but uh, of course not so different. But uh, in the exchange uh, coupling uh, case, uh, the some peaks are somewhat changed uh, from the dipolar uh, regime. And uh, especially <coughs> uh, by including the exchange coupling, uh, there's some uh, uh, mode uh, anti-crossing uh, arising uh, here. So because, yeah, in the previous case of a dipolar, uh, dipolar uh, regime, there's no uh, crossing uh, between modes. But uh, because of this uh, lifting of our degeneracy, there are uh, some uh, uh, crossings uh, here and there. And uh, these uh, crossings uh, give rise to uh, some uh, enhanced uh, very curvature at this anti-crossing. Yeah. So, so it is uh, somewhat uh, ongoing work. And uh, this kind of uh, uh, enhanced uh, very curvature can be, uh, say, measured uh, as a, uh, as a uh, reflection uh, at the uh, edge of the uh, magnet. So in fact, uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, put uh, some uh, formula. Uh, yeah, but uh, say, uh, for example, if we consider the uh, magnon uh, reflection at the edge of the uh, uh, magnet, uh, then uh, because of the uh, very curvature, uh, there's some shift at the edge of the system. So there's some uh, shifting uh, here. And uh, this shifting, uh, although uh, somewhat uh, small, 
uh, but that can be easily calculated in, in terms of the, of the uh, very curvature. And so in that sense, uh, this kind of a very curvature can be measured in this kind of a setup. So much time, <laughs> sorry. So, oh, in fact, uh, in, in collaboration with uh, uh, Professor Ono's group, uh, we e studied uh, this kind of shift uh, experimentally e by infrared uh, camera. So, in this case, we, uh, yeah, they in the in the sense, uh, they uh, measured the shift uh, of the wave packet uh, as a say temperature uh, distribution. So. If the magnon is there, uh, then that, uh, they give uh, some energy to the phonon, so the temperature uh, uh, increases. So in that sense, we can uh, say we roughly detect the, the, the position of the magnon uh, in terms of the temperature uh, distribution. So in their setup, uh, this is uh, uh, like that. So they put antenna here uh, on top of a yield film, and uh, they, he may, uh, they make a, say, uh, wave packet uh <coughs> of a magnon. Then uh, it is, uh, say, it hits the boundary of the magnet, then uh, they are reflected. And uh, because of the uh, very curvature, uh, this is shifted uh, like that. And uh, it, the shift changes sign uh, when we change the magnetization direct, uh, external uh, magnetic field uh, like that. So by e e measuring the uh, temperature distribution and the subtracting uh, between these two cases, uh, we can see e whether there, there's a shift or not. And uh, it seems that uh, there's a shift. So this is a, a measurement. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So antenna is, uh, say, e parallel to the uh, it's so in that sense, um, yeah, it is a uh, we consider the normal incidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's o we can also consider some uh, some angle, but uh, from a theoretical point of view. But uh, experimental, as you see, there's no such kind of uh, good resolution. But uh, yeah, uh, theoretically we can consider some, uh, not a normal uh, incidence, but uh, some angle. So we can calculate. Uh, but uh, experimentally, it is not so obvious <laughs> how much it is. Yeah. Yeah, so in fact, uh, that kind, uh, yeah, we have some experience in calculating that kind of shift for, for photon system. So in the photon system, we, we know that, that that kind of a uh, shift, and uh, it, that kind of shift has been measured. So in that sense, uh, uh, in that sense, it is a kind of a, a analogous uh, shift to this kind of a measurement. Yeah, in principle, yes. Uh, no, uh, we tried, but uh, we couldn't. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, this shift is, uh, in fact, uh, uh, large uh, when the magnetization is uh, unsaturated. So our, uh, say, theory uh, holds for the saturated region, but uh, for unsaturated region, maybe the fluctuation might be very large, and uh, which may bring about an enhanced shift. But uh, for unsaturated region, it is n we, we don't know the theoretical uh, interpretation at present. Yeah. So yeah, for this kind of a very curvature, uh, uh, say theory, it leads to this kind of a magnetic crystal, which a Professor Shindo has uh, talked about uh, last week. So, uh, yeah, for the uh, remaining time, uh, let me uh, switch gears to uh, to another uh, topic, which is the theoretical uh, consideration of the uh, sign effect or turns on phonons. Uh, we consider we first uh, inter introduced uh, the well-known uh, alien size effect, and uh, we theoretically consider the orbital analog 
of uh, this kind of uh, uh, effect, uh, which is, uh, in fact, uh, we, we call it a uh, chiral transport. So uh, in this case, we consider the, say, crystal with a, a helical, uh, I mean, helix uh, structure. So in this kind of helix is like a solenoid. So if we flow a current, then the magnetization will arise uh, due to this, uh, say, crystal uh, structure. And uh, we, we can regard this as an orbital analog of an electron effect. We also uh, consider uh, an very analogous effect of phonons. So in some crystals uh, with a lower uh, symmetry, uh, then we, if we flow a heat current, then uh, the net uh, angular momentum uh, of our phonons uh, will be uh, generated, uh, which is similar to the mechanism of the Edelstein effect. So, uh, so this is a brief uh, picture of the uh, Edelstein effect. So it is uh, well, well known and uh, also has been experimentally measured. So uh, in a non-magnetic system with a spin of coupling, uh, the charge current uh, will give, give rise to the spin polarization, which is typically perpendicular to the current. So uh, famous uh, examples are the Rashford system or the surface of a topological insulator. For su surface of a topological insulator, uh, the Fermi surface is, uh, uh, say, a, a like this in equilibrium. So the net uh, spin a polarization is zero because uh, k and minus k uh, cancels each other. Uh, but uh, if we, we, we say inject a current, then the Fermi surface uh, some, uh, shifted, so k and uh, minus k no longer cancel. So that uh, in this case there's a spin polarization in the uh, y direction, which is perpendicular to the applied electric uh, uh, field. So uh, we, we consider the analog, uh, orbital analog of, uh, of this uh, effect. <coughs> so uh, this is uh, motivated by uh, uh, our uh, work in correlation with, uh, with our initial uh, uh, people uh, on the uh, tellurium uh, band structure. So tellurium, uh, elemental tellurium, has a very interesting crystal structure, which, is, uh, which consists of a helix, uh, helices. Uh, so uh, there are two types of a crystal. Uh, one is uh, right-handed, and uh, uh, the other is uh, left-handed, uh, which is like that. So because of this uh, low, uh, say, crystal structure, it, it exhibits uh, interesting physics. For example, we found that uh, while a uh, semimetal is uh, realized uh, at, a, uh, at a higher pressure. So at the ambient pressure, it has a, a gap of uh, 0 0.3. Uh, electron volt. And uh, so in this case, if we, for example, uh, drop uh, a carrier, uh, then it is like a solenoid with a metallic, uh, say, wire, so that uh, if we flow a current, we expect that some uh, magnetization may uh, emerge. <coughs> so uh, we study this kind of uh, effect uh, by some toy model, uh, which is very simple. So it is like, uh, say, stacking uh, of a honeycomb lattice. But, uh, uh, the starting is uh, totally vertical, and uh, we uh, for for the for the uh, within the layer we only consider the nearest neighbor hopping, and uh, uh, between the neighboring uh, layer uh, we only consider the helical hopping. Helical hopping means that uh, we only uh, add some hopping which is uh, in this way or this way. So it is like a, uh, say in a helical way, let's say. So we consider two types of a crystal uh, at the same time. <coughs> so uh, uh, then uh, we calculate uh, the induced uh, orbital angular momentum when we inject a current. So orbital, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, orbital magnetization, not orbital current. So orbital magnetization is uh, expressed in this way, uh, like that. So. Uh, by adding a uh, active field and inject a injecting a current, uh, then the uh, Fermi, uh, this uh, distribution function is uh, deviated from the equilibrium uh, Fermi uh, distribution function uh, by uh, this type of, uh, of a term. So by putting uh, this uh, into uh, this formula, then we can see that, of course, the equ in equilibrium, uh, we have a uh, uh, zero orbital magnetization, but uh, by flowing the current, uh, there's, there's uh, uh, some 
finite uh, orbital uh, magnetization. So we can calculate very easily. So for, uh, as expected, for right-handed and left-handed crystal, the, the, the induced um, orbital magnetization has the opposite signs <coughs> uh, like that. So it is it, as a function of, uh, of some parameter and uh, some uh, unchanging FM energy. So it is uh, as uh, uh, expected. So, so this is an orbital uh, of angular momentum, and uh, in that sense, or orbital magnetization. So in that sense, uh, it is an orbital analog of a uh, Adelstein's uh, effect. <coughs> so, and, uh, yeah. so and, uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, sorry, I, I should mention that uh, uh, in this case, uh, we don't need a spin orbit coupling, of course, because it is the totally the orbital effect, uh, not even we, uh, spin. But if we add the spin orbit coupling, uh, then we also induce the, the spin uh, Edelstein's effect. For example, we can add some spin orbit coupling terms uh, onto this uh, uh, model and calculate the spin uh, magnetization uh, in this case. So if we uh, inject a current, then the, uh, uh, say, uh, induced uh, spin magnetization is like that. So we can easily calculate. So uh, the, the interesting thing here is that uh, if we flow a current uh, in the z direction, uh, then the uh, spin magnetization is also in z direction. So it is, uh, it is, not, uh, it is different from the uh, typical Edelstein's effect, where the spin magnetization and the uh, current is perpendicular to each other. So, <coughs> so in this case, as I uh, tell you uh, in the next slide, uh, the spin structure is uh, like a radial, uh, like a hedgehog type structure, like that, not the Rashba type. So in this case, if we say uh, inject the current, then the Fermi surface shifts. Uh, so in this case, the spin magnetization induced uh, by the current is uh, parallel uh, to the current. And also it is the opposite for the uh, right-handed and the left-handed crystal. <coughs> So in this model, we can see that the spin structure is radial, uh, like that. Say, uh, in, in this case, we say consider uh, H point, so it is uh, the cut around here. So it is radial uh, due to the uh, low uh, crystal symmetry. <coughs> and that this uh, spin structure is also, uh, ex also exists uh, for terrium case. For terrium case, uh, the conduction band as uh, exactly this kind of a hedgehog type uh, spin structure, uh, like that. So in this type of a uh, crystal structure, it, is, uh, it has an interesting uh, form of a spin structure. <coughs> so yeah, I have not so much time, so let me see. So uh, we can say uh, study uh, this kind of effect uh, further, uh, namely uh, what kind uh, of a crystal structure is favorable uh, to have a larger, uh, say, chiral uh, transport. So, so to uh, formulate this kind of uh, physics, uh, we proceed in the following way. So uh, in this case, we say we calculate the ma orbital magnetization uh, as a response to the electric field, but uh, we, we use Boltzmann transport with a constant tau. So in this case, uh, the a uh, response function alpha is proportional to tau. So instead of that, uh, uh, of course, this is uh, induced, uh, uh, in fact, uh, by a current, not the electric field. Uh, it is by the current. So in terms of the current, uh, this uh, coefficient is no longer dependent on tau. Uh, supposing that uh, the tau is uh, constant. So we calculated this, uh, say, coefficient uh, beta uh, which is uh, between the M and the uh, current J. <coughs> then, uh, uh, so I don't have so much time, so let me skip the details, but uh, uh, we focus on the lower panel, which shows uh, beta, which is a ratio between the orbital magnetization and the current. And uh, uh, in this case, A, A and C are the lattice constant within the uh, within the uh, XY plane and uh, uh, to the Z direction. <coughs> so we showed uh, this uh, figure, uh, and uh, we consider this to be a very interesting in the following uh, sense. 
So in this case, uh, uh, this uh, say value it has uh, is a dimensionless uh, uh, parameter, and uh, this uh, dimensionless parameter has some meaning in the following way. So, say for example, if we consider this kind of a system as a classical, uh, say a, a solenoid, uh, namely if we consider the unit cell as a as one solen one miniature uh, solenoid, and uh, how 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 many say rounds uh, <coughs> the wire say goes around in, in within the one unit cell? Uh, then we can consider uh, uh, we consider say uh, we obtain uh, this kind of form, uh, namely beta is uh, a square over c times uh, th some uh, dimensionless uh, parameter c, and the c is uh, c is uh, equals to one for the classical uh, solenoid. So if we have uh, one round uh, for uh, one unit cell, then this C is uh, one. But uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, so one is a classical case. But uh, in this case, we can see that uh, this is over uh, uh, one, like a uh, 20 or something uh, in, in this case. So in that sense, uh, this is a uh, uh, this is kind of a quantum uh, solenoid, but, but uh, it, is, uh, it is much uh, kind of uh, 20 times efficient than the, say, classical solenoid in the miniature, uh, say, level, let's say. <coughs> so, uh, say as a uh, maybe remaining five minutes, le let me e explain the last part of my talk, which is the generation of annual momentum phonon uh, by heat current. So it is also an Edelstein's effect. <coughs> so uh, this work is, in, is based on uh, uh, Chan News and uh, collaborators' work on angular momentum uh, phonons. So this uh, story is very simple. So, uh, so in, for, for the, uh, in, in the crystal uh, lattice, uh, if we have a phonon, then, then the each uh, atoms uh, vibrate in, in various waves. So. Uh, they consider the, the, the sum of all the, uh, say, motion, uh, all the angular momentum due to this, uh, say, uh, atom's motion. So it is uh, like that. And uh, this R is a kind of uh, equilibrium position, and the U is a, a deviation by equilibrium position. Uh, then uh, if we, we consider this uh, microsc microscopic uh, local uh, rotation, uh, then by so this is like a u cross a u dot, uh, summed over all the uh, at all the atoms, and then uh, they uh, uh, in this paper they put uh, say second uh, condition uh, form to have uh, this kind of formula. So it's very simple. So in this case, uh, this f is a Bose distribution function because phonon is a boson, and the l is a angular momentum for each mode. So there are many many uh, phonon modes, but uh, each one of mode uh, with uh, some, uh, some k has uh, some uh, value, uh, for expectation value for angular moment. <coughs> so, and uh, we consider th these modes are kind of uh, e incoherent to each other, so we just uh, sum up all the expectation values. And uh, uh, so the next uh, question is uh, uh, what is L here? So L depends on K and also the mode number sigma. So next question is what, what is the behavior uh, for, of this L? So L is uh, the, 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 the angular momentum for each mode. And uh, uh, for example, if we consider time reversal symmetric case, then this L is an odd function of K. And if it is an inversion symmetric, then L is an even function of K. So for example, uh, if we both have uh, both symmetries, uh, then L is identically zero, and uh, there's no angular momentum uh, whatsoever. <coughs> so if we would like to have uh, some interesting uh, cases, we should, have, uh, we should break either time reversal or inversion symmetry. So uh, breaking time reversal symmetry is uh, somewhat obvious. So if, if we break the time reversal symmetry, uh, uh, then we only have an uh, inversion symmetry, uh, so angular momentum is an uh, even function of k. 
So by summing up all the, uh, say, mag uh, say, phonomals with a both distribution function, then the, the total angular momentum is uh, uh, non-zero. So it is uh, somewhat uh, as expected. <coughs> and the uh, next question is, uh, if we break the inversion symmetry, uh, then L is an odd function. So if we, we multiply this by the uh, both distribution function, and the sum over all the modes, uh, then the total angular momentum is zero. But uh, uh, if we are off the equilibrium by uh, adding some heat current, uh, then uh, it will induce some unbalance uh, between the uh, modes. So the total angular momentum should be non-zero. <coughs> so we proceed with a similar Boltzmann type prior equation. So the uh, distribution is uh, deviated uh, in proportion to tau. Uh, then the uh, total angular momentum in response uh, to the uh, temperature gradient is like that. So this is a tensor uh, alpha, alpha beta here. <coughs> so uh, we can easily e e say e see what would be the systems which have a, say, a non-zero response function. The, the crystal should have a, a sufficiently low symmetry. <coughs> Say, for example, the polar uh, system or the chiral system uh, is, uh, is uh, sufficient to have uh, this kind of a uh, uh, response. For example, we uh, did a calculation for Wurzai structure, uh, which is polar. And uh, for polar structure, uh, we can easily see that uh, this response function, uh, response uh, coefficient alpha is uh, anti-symmetric. And uh, for, for the in this case, we have a, a Z component of a polarization. So in that case, uh, this alpha, alpha beta uh, has an anti-symmetric uh, with a XY component uh, like that. Yes? Yes. Uh, so we should have a bulk system so that uh, may we, we hope we see some uh, rota see it as a rotation. So in that sense, uh, Rashba, Rashba, Rashba system uh, might be okay, but uh, it is on the surface. So the, 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 the effect might be not that difficult to see. Tellurium? Tell, te tellurium, T-E. Yeah. Tellurium is okay, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. So this is just one example. So it is not limited to this one, but uh, Rashba system can be also okay. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. So in a sense, this is a polar system, so it is like a Rashba, in a sense. Uh, so there's uh, some, say, electric field or some polar component. So that uh, if we flow a heat current in the x direction, then the phonon angular momentum will be y direction. And if it is uh, y direction, then the angular momentum will be in minus x direction. <coughs> so uh, we, we are now ev evaluating uh, this kind of effect uh, by using the first principle calculation. But uh, before doing that, uh, we, uh, we did some uh, preliminary uh, calculation using some kind of a simple model of our phonons and some parameters we can calculate the dispersion relation uh, for uh, gallium nitride and uh, the we can evaluate uh, the effect uh, like that. And uh <coughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, suppose, uh, say, if we say we hang, hang this kind of a crystal uh, uh, with uh, some uh, some uh, needle, and uh, uh, and uh, to to make this uh, freely rotate, then the if we if the phonon have uh, say a angular momentum, then the, uh, the uh, as a uh, as a total system, the angular momentum should be in. Uh, conserved uh, in this case. So uh, suppose uh, this, uh, uh, say, uh, angular moment of phonon uh, will be compensated by the rigid body rotation. Then we can calculate how much, uh, uh, say, angular momentum, angular uh, rotation is uh, induced here. So we, we could, we could uh, say, 
<coughs> if, uh, with uh, this kind of a uh, sample size, uh, then the uh, velocity, angular velocity is something like that. So uh, some experimental people said that it is uh, measurable. So <coughs> hopefully we can say uh, have uh, this kind of a uh, system will be measured. Yes? Insulator. Uh, so it, in fact, this is uh, only phonon. Uh, maybe for metallic case, uh, maybe some of them uh, would go to electronic. Uh, some uh, ideally, it goes uh, to. Uh, non dissipative body. Uh, uh, okay, oh, even for insulator, there should be. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if for insulators, it is difficult to say magnetize the system if there's a band gap which is uh, large. Then the maybe maybe the electron contribution uh, will be maybe negligible in this case. But uh, for metallic case, it is not, not of course. But it's my guess. <laughs> Uh, in the sense, permissive contribution, I guess. Yes. Yeah, but uh, to have the, the some uh, angular momentum, the the electric system should be uh, magnetized. Magnetized, I guess. Yeah, but uh, for for elect for for the insulator with a large gap, it is uh, not maybe. I don't know. Yeah, of course, uh, there's some, there can be. Mm. I guess so. Yeah. For metallic case, uh, it might have some effect, but uh, it might be difficult. And uh, for metallic case, uh, we also, yeah, uh, as I said, uh, this uh, kind of uh, say a rotational uh, say motion of phonon uh, will uh, co part, uh, partially con uh, say convert into electronic uh, spins. Uh, and uh, this we are this kind of a spin rotation coupling, uh, which has been uh, studied in, in some uh, these uh, context. So. In the metallic case, uh, it might be, say, converted to spins somehow. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, uh, summary. So thank you very much for your attention. <coughs> thank you for a very thought-provoking talk.